driving for, well, welcome to day two of the road trip. Been driving for, let me have a look, two hour, two and a half, three hours. Um, just outside of uh, Blaney at the moment and I saw a turn off and I thought, why not um, check in with you guys, introduce, yourself, introduce myself for today. Um, we're at the, if you can see it, Blaney Wind Farm. Um, it was just a random turn off uh, off the Midwestern Highway and yeah heading to Katoomba today um, shouldn't take too long too much longer hopefully um, but yeah looking a bit windy today as you can see they're all moving but yeah so far drives been pretty good not too busy on the road at all which is great and yeah let's head on continue on to Katoomba Alright, so made it to the Blue Mountains, as you saw, went to Govett's Leap. Um, just gonna, I mean the weather looks clear even though driving over the hill it was not. So gonna head down into Katoomba, see what the weather's like there, have a look how long a trail takes and then probably go for a quick hike just to warm up and then I gotta check into my hostel. So that should be really good. Let's go! How's it going? How Good, thanks. Okay guys, made it to trailhead for Butterbox Peak. Uh, yeah, but no, Butterbox Point. Let's hope that drive was worth it because it took 40 minutes to do 12K. So yeah, it was pretty interesting, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we're going to Butterbox Point. This is definitely beyond anything that I kind of hike in Canberra, like yeah, we've got some cliff tops and stuff, but like this is just canyons and chasms and everything. It's so epic. And it's a short walk because there's not much left today. And I just wanted to get some walking in so it wasn't a wasted afternoon. But yeah, like have a look at this. Wow.
so back up we go. Back to the car, back to the stupid drive. Now I know why the road's closed for next week, so that they can redo it. Because it's not brilliant. <laughs> um, but I mean, even the sketchy drive was worth it for this. So different, again, I'm just repeating what I said yesterday, so different to what we have in Canberra. And I love it, I love exploring new places. Been to Blue Mountains before, but not to this part, and incredible, absolutely incredible. There's Sydney, all the way out there. I bet you can't even see it. Let's give it a go. Right there. Yeah, it's, it's very far. <laughs> Extremely far. I think it's 100 odd k's by road. So maybe 70, 80 k's as the, as the, the crow flies. But yeah, still pretty epic views so they can see that but oh this is blowing my mind like literally blowing my mind finished pretty epic when we get up to the car park you'll see what i mean when i said i was surprised my car made it <laughs> Have a look. Four wheel drive, four wheel drive, four wheel drive, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, SUV. And then there's my red car. Little whip made it. Somehow. Somehow. Let's just hope it makes it back.
made it to the YHA in the Blue Mountains in Katoomba. What an incredible day, long day driving, but the hike at the end made up for it, even if the drive was a bit dodgy. Um, but yeah, today was pretty epic, and let's hope tomorrow is just as epic, if not more epic. Um, but yeah, had a great dinner, and now early night, because I am shattered. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Leave a comment if you've been to Blue Mountains or what your favorite mountain range is. And yeah, catch you tomorrow. See ya.